Welcome to Biohacking with Brittany. I am so excited that you are tuning in this week. This episode is all about biohacking in the news, different articles, posts, things like that, that have come out in the last week that I'm going to talk about. I'm going to summarize them. They will all be linked in the show notes and on my website. And we're just going to kind of talk about them. It's interesting to see how much biohacking has grown so much in the last few years. And now it's at a point where there's articles coming out weekly about different biohackers and centers and projects and products and all types of things. So these are a few of the noteworthy things from the past week, and we are going to dive into them. But before we do that, a shout out to a few of my favorite brands that I work with. First and foremost is Nochi. This one's a supplement that is designed by traditional Chinese medicine doctors. And it's really rooted in that. And they have one product that I use that is supportive for the menstrual cycle. And it's called New Moon. So it's got a bunch of different herbs in it that really support the symptoms that can come along during the different phases of the menstrual cycle. And you take it every single day to help with that. And it's got a bunch of herbs in it, things like ginger, rose, other stuff like that that are adaptogens and just really gentle and help a lot. And I actually noticed that when I started taking this, my symptoms have definitely decreased when my period comes along in terms of irritability, cramping, or anything like that. So it does make a difference. You just have to take it every day and really support the body in that way. And I will link that in the show notes for you to check out. A shout out to Armra. This is the colostrum that I'm using. I actually just saw some, I think it was Dave Asprey uh, posted a photo and it was in that photo as well. This colostrum is a whole food, which is really cool. So I've actually been just taking it in my water when I go on walks or when I go hiking. It is the performance colostrum. So it's designed for really working out that type of thing and really just performing at your best. So that's why I typically take it when I'm exercising or moving my body and it's chocolate flavored. So it also just tastes really good in water. And it's one of my go-tos daily now, especially since it is a whole food. And last but not least, Inside Tracker. I actually just got my results done again. So I got tested in July, which was really interesting. And part of the test that I did was for my biological age with them. And this part is called the inner age. And I actually just turned 30 today. It's my birthday. And my inner age, according to Inside Tracker, is, I think it's like, 19.9 19.9 or something. Yeah, like 19.8, 19.9. So I'm really proud of that. And it gives you a breakdown on how it calculates that. It, it basically measures the whole test. You do the ultimate test. It measures about 44 biomarkers. And then there's certain biomarkers that are associated with um, aging and this older age or a younger age in your cells and in your body. And so it gives you a breakdown of exactly what's aging you and what's keeping you younger. And so, yeah, I'm really, I'm really happy about mine. That actually might be my best score yet over 10 years of a difference. I think usually it's between, you know, a nine and 10 year difference, but I, I really enjoy doing that. And it's, it's very interesting to take a look at what might be aging you, which we're going to get into later in this episode. So if you want to get something like that tested, really, I really, really recommend Inside Tracker mostly because they come to my house. Like I don't have to leave. So they show up, they take my blood. They do, It's like 44 biomarkers. I get my results emailed to me. Like it's such an easy way to do it. I live in Canada. They do this across Canada. They do it across the States. So if you are like, I want to know my vitamin, hormone, mineral levels, I want to know my inner age and you want to actually get it tested. You don't want to go through a doctor. They do this because it's private. So I will link that for you to check out. And now let's dive into biohacking in the news. Okay, so I have a few articles here that are really interesting we're going to go through. The first one is by Rolling Stone. Again, these will all be, all be linked in the show notes. So this is by Rolling Stone, rollingstone.com. And it is called Million, Millionaire Biohacker Says Algorithm Runs His Life. My mind no longer decides. 
Brian Johnson, who went viral for blood plasma donations and penis shockwave therapy, shares the philosophy behind Blueprint, his very expensive longevity project. So I'm going to read the first few paragraphs so we can get a sense about what this is about. The name Brian Johnson may not ring a bell, but odds are you've already seen the man shirtless posting and posing with a vial of his son's blood. The 46-year-old tech millionaire has made the rounds time and again on social media for going to extreme lengths to curb the effects of aging in a longevity project called the Blueprint, which he calls an algorithm for preserving his body. Johnson takes more than 100 supplements a day, submits himself to constant medical assessments, keeps to a strict diet that prohibits any food after 11 a.m., goes to bed at 8.30 p.m., and pursues experiments with a dizzying array of treatments. Most notoriously, he tried blood plasma donations from his teenage son, but quit after they showed no benefit, and has sought to rejuvenate his penis with shockwave therapy. Blueprint also encompasses a range of speciality substances, including an extra virgin olive oil formulated to have higher levels of polyphenolytic compounds, which can lower risks of various diseases. Two bottles can be yours for just $75. Having embarked on this anti-aging odyssey two years ago, spending some $2 million per year, Johnson explains the regimen in great detail at seemingly every opportunity. As he puts on his website, my journey and protocol is openly shared and accessible to all. He also has a forthcoming book, Don't Die, about the future of being human, but a number of longevity experts have voiced skepticism about whether Blueprint can really turn back the clock in the way Johnson hopes, given how genetics play a role in determining lifespan and the all-consuming effort and discipline these methods require. And he has a way of talking about his protocols that make him sound like a historic leap forward in human consciousness, sometimes straining credulity. Are you tired of feeling out of sync with your body's natural rhythm? Do you struggle with menstrual cycle related issues like fatigue, mood swings, and bloating? If you're looking to optimize your health and well being, look no further than the Ebb and Flow Cycle Guide. This comprehensive guide is designed to help you better understand and work with your menstrual cycle so you can improve your energy levels, reduce PMS symptoms, and gain a deeper understanding of your body. With in-depth information on each phase of the menstrual cycle, you'll learn how to adjust your diet, exercise routine, and self-care practices to better align with your body's needs. One of the biggest benefits of the Ebb and Flow Cycle Guide is its user-friendly format. The guide is easy to follow and provides clear instructions on how to optimize your health throughout each phase of your cycle. Plus, it's packed with valuable information and insights that you won't find anywhere else. So whether you're a seasoned biohacker or you're just starting out, the Ebb and Flow Cycle Guide is the perfect tool to help you optimize your health and live in harmony with your body's natural rhythm. And with my expertise and guidance, you can trust that you're getting the best information and advice available. So why wait? Head over to biohackingbrittany.com to get your copy of the Ebb and Flow Cycle Guide and start living your best life today. The article goes on to be a interview with him and Rolling Stone. So obviously congrats to him for being interviewed by Rolling Stone. They, it kind of talks about lifespan. It talks about some of his goals. It talks about this blueprint that he has and this, yeah, his regimen and different things like that. I think this is worth reading to be honest. Like, I think it's really interesting to read what a what was it like a $2 million a year person spends on their health and what they do and what they believe in. I find that if all of us had access to that kind of wealth, would we all be doing these same things? Maybe as biohackers, like we value a lot of what he's talking about. And so maybe that's something that we would, we would want to do. I think some of this is a little cringeworthy. And I think a lot of people, I think that's his biggest criticism. It's just giving like low-key toxic masculinity. It's giving like a lot of narcissism, uh, a lot of ego, (laughs) to be honest. It it just is like the way that, you know, there's graphics in here and there's like some Twitter photos 
which I guess is called X now. And there's like all of these stats that he's done and all of these like great things, you know, like his body inflammation is 85% below the average 18 year old. His, he has perfect liver fat. His bone des- density is the top 0.2% of 30 year olds, all of these things. And while I think it's really interesting and useful to see these types of people do these experiments and us to see kind of what works and what doesn't work. And potentially he may be furthering science and, you know, longevity and kind of how we view things and changing the narrative. It's also just a little toxic. I would love to see something in this article that kind of just shows he's a little more human and a little more relatable and maybe just not so much up in the clouds as this kind of gives off. And I think this is what a lot of criticism towards biohacking is in general. Like this is not the first time I've thought this or heard this or seen other people talk about stuff like this is like, how do you biohack your life so that you can be healthier, but how do you still stay grounded and connected to something bigger than you and connected to nature at the same time? And so, yeah, while I agree with a lot of what he said, I just think that it's not realistic for a lot of people. And I'd love for there to just be a little more humility in his entire approach. Now, if they sent me the olive oil, I would try it. Of course I would. Would I buy it? Two bottles for $75 US? No, I wouldn't. (laughs) Regardless of whatever might be in it, I just don't think I could ever justify something like that because I just don't. I personally don't think that it would move the needle enough in order for me to have it be something that I take all the time. I also think like he takes over a hundred supplements a day. What supplements are you taking? Like what, what that's crazy. A hundred supplements a day. Like I want to see a full list when you're taking them with what and why, because that is so interesting and just wild. And the fact that he has a book coming out called don't die again, is like about being the future, being human. Again, it just feels so removed from being a part of a collective conscious and also nature and something bigger than ourselves that I just feel like it's a little, a little much, but I will read it probably. But yeah, it's just giving very, very masculine, very masculine energy. Okay. Next, switching it up. You know that I seriously, seriously value the menstrual cycle and women's health. And I really care about helping women create more regular cycles, reduce their symptoms, and be able to just kind of live life (laughs) easier and have more fun and not have to worry so much about these health issues that kind of plague a lot of women, including myself. So I've recently actually been taking a new supplement by a company called Nochi, And the supplement is called New Moon, and it is a supplement completely focused on menstrual support. It is rooted in traditional Chinese medicine and uses herbs like ginger, ginseng, and jujube that provide a ton of benefits, including relief from menstrual cramps, reduces bloating, helps ease PMS symptoms, and supports irregular cycles. I deal with all of that here and there. It always changes cycle to cycle, but I definitely deal with irregular menstrual cycles every single month or more than that, you know? So I really love using this product and I love using something that's rooted in nature, but also traditional Chinese medicine because as someone who does acupuncture a lot and really respects traditional Chinese medicine, I can see how it can play such an important role in our tools that we use to help heal. So if you're dealing with any type of PMS, irregular cycles, you need menstrual support, I really suggest this product. I'm not taking anything else like it. And it's really, really fantastic. So that is by No Chi and it's the supplement called New Moon. And I will link it in the show notes. It's also on my website. Go for it. Try it out. Let me know what you think. You can use my discount. It's all linked right there for you. We are going to newbeauty.com. This one was interesting. The article is called, I Tried Biohacking, the Celeb Loved Treatment for Wellness and Longevity. This one is really interesting. I love when I read these articles about people trying biohacking for the first time because 
they're always just so interesting to see what people think, what their takeaways are, what they're going to keep, what they're going to get rid of. So let's dive into this one. As I stepped off of a five-hour flight from Fort Lauderdale to LA, my body was feeling the three-hour time difference. With a 15-hour journey to Sydney, Australia on the horizon, I needed a quick boost of energy and to cut swelling and inflammation at the knees. That's when I learned about the concept of biohacking, a wellness trend loved by celebrities like Brooke Burke and Tom Brady, which promises to optimize the performance of the mind and body through tailored health hacks and practices. There's a paragraph on how they define biohacking. I'm not going to read that. And then they kind of go into what does biohacking do? So this author writes, my treatment involved reclining on an anti-gravity bed, which revealed relieved, sorry, which relieved pressure from my joints along with a higher dose mat. The higher dose mat employs magnetic field therapy, heat, and healing crystals. Additionally, a pair of Normatec lymphatic drain boots work to detoxify and massage my swollen ankles. To soothe the stress response, a new calm disc activating my parasympathetic nervous system enhanced my relaxation. Simultaneously, a meditation journey utilizing specific frequencies to promote positivity increase memory, and enhance awareness resonated through noise-canceling headphones. All the while, I wore a blackout eye mask. I felt like the epitome of wellness, and my body couldn't help but relax, unwind, and rejuvenate during those blissful 60 minutes. They go on to talk about some of the tech for a bit more. This paragraph's interesting. It says, why is biohacking trending? Physiologist William Moore, owner of Advanced U, emphasize the cellular benefits of biohacking. Optimizing cellular function and reducing biological age can enhance both the quality and quantity of life. Regarding anti-aging and longevity-focused biohacking, the earlier one starts, the better. Contemporary living exposes our bodies to unprecedented stress levels that previous generations did not experience. The current generation of children is expected to commonly surpass a hundred years of age, but achieving this requires addressing and reversing the aging process. Two driving factors for this trend are our increased access to TikTok technology, not TikTok, and our culture of information sharing. Wearable devices and genetic testing have made biohacking more accessible. Real-time data and insights into genetic predispositions enable informed decisions about health. There are also many online communities and forums that foster knowledge exchange among biohackers. This democ- this information has empowered people to take control of their health. So it goes on to kind of talk about what does it feel like. And this treatment that this woman did was at the Fairmont Century Plaza Spa, which made her feel superhuman apparently, and really just helped with all of the cross-country flying that she was doing. She reports that The compression boots improved her circulation in her lower legs. And she wrote, as I learned, the world of biohacking offers a myriad of optimization techniques, which together worked their their magic. Great. I really like this. I think that this is a really smart idea. I love the idea of these tiny biohacking little centers popping up in places like the Fairmont. I think it's brilliant to be able to step off a flight and go to a hotel or go to the Fairmont, do an hour of different biohacks and stack them back to back to back and just optimize your health as much as you can in that hour before getting on another flight. This just makes a lot of sense. And it just makes sense from the standpoint of saving time, saving money, helping you feel better, faster. And I think it's a really good idea. What I actually would like to see is these types of lounges popping up actually in airports. So at like LAX, for example, how cool would it be if there was a biohacking lounge where you didn't even have to leave the airport and you could go there and you could do all of these healthy things during your layover and then step onto your next flight feeling like a brand new person. That's what I would like to see. I'd like to see more integration and more common spaces. However, it doesn't surprise me that it's in a place like the Fairmont because biohacking can have this very wealthy elite status to it. And so it, it makes sense that it would be in a place like that. So 
I love this. I'm glad that this woman had such a good, fantastic experience. Some of the things that she's done, I have done. Norma Tech is great. The lymphatic drain boots. It feels so good. It really, really feels so good. I haven't done it in a long time, but when I did it, when I did it for a while, it definitely felt amazing. So one of those really fantastic things that we can use for recovery. So check that out. That's at newbeauty.com and I will link that for you. I have just started taking Armra Colostrum and I am so excited about it. Colostrum is a whole food. It is not a supplement. It is not something that is, you know, only has one nutrient in it. It is a whole food. This means it has over 200 functional nutrients in it that really support your body. So they just came out with a new product. It's called Performance Revival, and it strengthens your immune fitness, rebuilds the microbiome, and accelerates cellular regeneration by refueling lean muscle and repairing tissue. It instills whole body restrengthening for your elite health. I am so obsessed with taking this Armra colostrum. I take two scoops a day right now, but you can take as much as you want. Again, because it's a whole food, it's not a supplement. There's no chances of you overdosing or anything like that. This really just supports performance and really helps with your gut health. A lot of people swear by colostrum because of all the different benefits in it. And I completely agree with that, especially because it has so many bioactive nutrients in it. So it's chocolate flavored. It's super easy to drink. I just add a scoop to my water, mix it up, have at least two a day and really do feel a difference. As someone who has had a lot of gut health issues over the last, you know, 10 years, Something like this is really important for me to use. And I love that their new performance revival really supports performance and athleticism as well. So it's great for endurance. It's great for stamina. And it really just helps with cellular functioning in general. If you're somebody who really values whole food supplements rather than just taking a single nutrient, Armra Colostrum definitely has to be on your list for that. So check it out. I will link it in my show notes. You can use my discount code biohackingbrittany for 10% off. And I really suggest you start as soon as you can just to start supporting your health in a very whole and natural way. Next, we are talking about an article that came out from the Daily Mail. This is on the dailymail.com. It is called Million Millionaire Boss Tim Gurner is slammed where it hurts the most on LinkedIn for calling Aussie workers arrogant as his obsession with staying young by biohacking is revealed. So I'm not going to talk about this whole arrogant part of this article. I don't think it's worth mentioning. You can read it. But what's interesting is when we kind of get into the biohacking um, state of this. So he was actually on the cover of Forbes. I've never heard of him. He's a seems to be a big shot in Australia and he is a property tycoon and he is all about like peak performance and productivity. You know, the typical, like kind of like the first article with Brian Johnson, very, very similar vibes, all about peak performance, all about showing up the best, all about anti-aging and longevity, a very, very masculine energy around it, which isn't a bad thing always, but you just have to keep it in check. So let's read the part about biohacking. Tim Gurner, the biohacker, if you're listening, welcome to the podcast. Maybe I'll have you on as a guest. And this article writes, while building his property empire, Mr. Gurner has also dedicated a lot of his time to ensuring he is as physically and mentally healthy as he can be. Biohacking, as it's known, is when a person adjusts their body's physiology and chemistry by making changes to their lifestyle and diet. Mr. Gertner is constantly having tests done on his body to check if he is low in anything and has tried just about everything under the sun to boost his health. Anything that is out there, I've done it. From microdosing mushrooms to infrared saunas to steam baths and aura rings, lymphatic drainage, everything. I want to try everything and see what works for me, he told Forbes in November last year. Aura ring tracks things like sleep, exercise, heart rate, body temperature, and can even sense when a person is feeling stressed. He has a personal trainer and life coach, a mindfulness coach, an executive coach, and a strength and conditioning 
coach. He takes supplements, does Pilates and yoga, infrared saunas, ice baths, and hyperbaric oxygen chambers. His love for health and well-being accumulated in his creation of a new private social club, St. Haven. With membership fees ranging from $150 to $450 a week, the club has a range of gym equipment and offers red light therapy, saunas, oxygen chambers, IV drips for hydration, and even a cycle class curated by a Tour de France winner. The first St. Haven Club opened in Collingwood in Melbourne in May, with memberships already selling out. Mr. Gurner has plans to extend the brand in other sites around Melbourne and Sydney. The exclusive wellness club also has an in-house restaurant as well as a concierge that can iron your clothes and polish your shoes while you're inside. Mr. Gurner's fitness journey started in 2016 after his father died from cancer and he was on the cusp of financial ruin. I get about a hundred, uh, I get about 250 different tests of my blood, which will say this month you're deficient in blank. Your testosterone is up or down. Then the physios, dietitians, doctors on call set my regimen. I take about 50 to 50 or 60 tablets a day. It's always very specific to my latest results. We want you to live to a hundred, but not just live to a hundred, live to a hundred feeling amazing. That's the aim. Mr. Gardner made headlines back in 2017 when he sold, or sorry, when he told 60 Minutes that millennials had unrealistic spending habits and famously suggested they stopped eating smashed avocado if they wanted to buy a house. When I was trying to buy my first home, I wasn't buying smashed avocado for $19 and four coffees at $4 each, he said. The expectations of younger people are very, very high. They want to eat out every day. They want to travel Europe every year. This generation is watching the Kardashians and thinking, that's normal, thinking only a Bentley is normal. His comments caused outrage among gener- Generation Y, with many claiming Mr. Gurner was only successful because his grandfather lent him $34,000 for his first investment. Blah, blah, blah. I'm going to skip over all of this because it's just not worth it. And then it goes a bit more into some of the biohacking stuff. This is interesting. Again, I've never heard of this person. Sounds like somebody who's actually been through quite a lot and has really risen above it and had to figure out what works for him. I would love to try this St. Haven Club in Melbourne. It sounds phenomenal. Again, you know, we're looking at membership fees here ranging from $150 to $450 a week. (laughs) It's just outrageous. (laughs) It's so outrageous. I can't even not laugh at it. Like it's, oh my God. It Honestly, again, sounds like something really cool. Sounds like it would be so beneficial for people. There's a hundred percent of market for it. These people who want to optimize everything. I'm kind of one of them. However, I wouldn't pay that. And I think it's wild that you could even charge that much per week, but maybe I'd feel different if I went out and saw it, you know? I think it's interesting in general to kind of just see these places popping up. You know, I just talked about the one in the Fairmont and now there's another one here in Melbourne in Australia. Like they're just becoming so common. It's almost like this boutique bougie biohacking lounge is replacing the common gym that so many of us have used over the years for, or like decades and decades. So it's interesting. It, yeah, it, it is really interesting. I'm curious to see how successful it is. Maybe I'll take a look at their Instagram. I, I just, I would love to see the inside of it. I'd love to see the equipment. And if St. Haven Club, you ever come to Canada, let me know. And I would love to come check you out. But yeah, at that price point, whew, you must definitely offer, offer a lot. I actually think it's really cool that he does a bunch of different tests of his blood and then alters what he takes in relation to the results. I think that's really smart. And I think that type of program is only just emerging on the market right now. This idea of like personalized health and personalized nutrition. I was actually just on a call yesterday and we were talking, I was talking to a company about this, who's kind of offering this soon to, to North America. And it's basically the same thing. It's not 250 tests. It's a test it's one test that tests 50 different biomarkers, but it's the same idea of like 
they then create personalized supplements for you for 90 days after that test. And then you retest and then you kind of take new supplements. So I think it's smart. I think the the days of one pill fits everything are slowly, slowly going behind us. This idea of like, everyone take 5,000 I use a vitamin D because that's what you kind of need in the winter. But actually now let's just get your vitamin D levels tested and let's see what type of vitamin D you should take. Obviously it's usually vitamin D3, but maybe we add in K2 and let's test your K2 levels and then give you what the recommendation is for the next three months. That type of thinking is just really smart and really brilliant. And when I open up my practice again in January, I really want to be able to provide personalized health like that because I just think it's smart. And I think you would get better results and become healthier faster and you know work on longevity and anti-aging and these types of things when you take this type of personalized approach. Okay, the next one. Here we go. So This one is on geneticliteracyproject.org. And this was originally posted on the Wall Street Journal. So this is just a little expert of it. You can go read the full article if you want. It's the title is called Light Therapy Beds, Ozone Generators, Rich Biohackers Integrate Longevity Boosting Gadgets into Their Homes. And this is about a couple who have a bunch of different biohacking tech in their house. So let's hear about it. So real estate investors Ari and Kelly Rastegar are devotees of biohacking, a wellness lifestyle aimed at optimizing physical and mental performance. He takes 150 custom vitamins and supplements per day. She takes 23. They eat a diet specifically tailored to their genes. They work out with a trainer almost daily. They take posture management classes. They practice transcendental meditation They say affirmations, but their biohacking isn't limited to their bodies. They've also biohacked their house, an 8,200 square foot, $22,000 per month rental in Westlake Hills, Texas. Sounds like a nice area in Texas. In the guts of their house are ultraviolet light systems for air and water purification. Their kitchen has a machine that adds hydrogen to the drinking water providing hydration that Ari says is infinitely more powerful than normal water. Their bedroom has a mattress pad cooled to 64 degrees Fahrenheit for him and 72 degrees for her. Their gym is outfitted with a machine that pumps extra oxygen into their bodies during training. There are expensive devices like a $65,000 light therapy bed perpetrated to provide training recovery and a $16,000 biocharger machine that uses light frequencies and harmonics, voltage and pulsed electromagnetic field technology to, its maker's claim, promote cellular rejuvenation, enhance cellular health, and revitalize the body. There are inexpensive tools, everything from a $350 inversion table for spinal decompression to $65, $65 toe spacers for improved toe splay and alignment all in they have spent roughly $135,000 biohacking their house which they've lived in with their three children since 2021 Woo! wow okay so go read the full article at wall street journal there's a bunch of photos really cool this is really cool honestly i love a lot of this it's kind of like on theme for this episode today For some reason, all of these articles are about (laughs) rich biohackers. I don't, I didn't, I did not plan for it to kind of sound like that, but that's kind of the vibe of this episode today. So I think this is cool. I think that again, if you have the money, like why not, right? Like why not biohack your house and why not make it as healthy as you can for you and your children? I think that I would probably do something similar. I'm curious my thoughts when I hear stuff like this is like, first of all, yeah, like I would absolutely, absolutely do this. Secondly, it's when you talk about having so much tech in your house, I have to think about the EMF and radiation that comes from it. Every time I buy something or try these new technologies that have to be plugged in and charged and use Bluetooth or Wi-Fi, it's just another piece of EMF 
radiation that's coming from it in my home. And if you're having this much everywhere, like let's talk about this like $65,000 light therapy bed, like there's no way, there's no way there's low EMF coming off of that or no EMF. There's no way. So I guess maybe it's further in the article, but I, I would love to kind of just see more of that. And I'm curious where in Texas this is. I don't know Texas very well slash at all. This Westlake Hills area, I'm wondering if how many houses are around them, how much space is there, how much land is there? Do they have enough like nature coming in to kind of offset all of this radiation and EMF and everything that's plugged in that I'm kind of seeing? So I think it is interesting. I think if you're somebody who is looking to biohack your house, definitely read this article because you can see what these people are investing in. Take it with a grain of salt. Pick what you think is best for you. Go from there. You know I love gathering data on myself, and I think this is so important as a biohacker, nutritionist, and just wellness advocate. I don't like making decisions based off of just guessing and my intuition only, but I like to have data as well to really guide me and help me make the most sense of what is going on in my body on a cellular level. That is why I test with Inside Tracker every single quarter or more, to be honest, and I love all of the information they provide. It is an at-home blood test. They come, they take a look at over 45 different biomarkers, including minerals, vitamins, hormones, and really give you a big picture on what is going on inside your body at that time. If you're in Canada, they come they to your house, they do the test for you. That's where I am. States, the same thing, or you can also go to a lab and get it done as well. And they also have a biological age test that is a calculation based off of your results, and that's called inner age. This is really fascinating. Mine is usually about 10 years younger than I actually am. So I'm always really proud of that when I see that result. But what's really cool is recently Inside Tracker has made great strides and they've actually added new biomarkers to their ultimate test. So they've added things like APOB this year and they've which is critical for like heart health and they've also added three hormone markers which is really important for aging as well as women's health and I've spoken about that before so they test like progesterone estradiol, and your thyroid as well. And so now they've added something new again, which is insulin, which is the key biomarker for sustained energy and an early warning for several chronic diseases. So everyone knows how important insulin is and glucose. So it's honestly so helpful to be able to add this in to this test. I really suggest if you're dealing with symptoms or some sort of health issue, but you don't really know what's going on, you need to get data on yourself to make sense of it. So I really suggest doing something like this. You can order the ultimate test. If you use my discount code, you get 20% off, which is actually a lot because it makes a big difference when you're getting something done like this. I will link it in the show notes for you. It's also on my website on biohackingbrady.com. And that is Inside Tracker. And my discount code is Biohacking Brittany in all capitals. Feel free to use it, get tested. And honestly, if you have any questions about your results, they have an app that helps you and gives you a ton of resources and recommendations based off of your personal results. So, super helpful as well. That's Inside Tracker. And it is linked in the show notes and on my website. Okay. And last but not least, we, again, another biohacking center opening. So grand opening celebration of advanced you, the ultimate anti-aging and biohacking center. This is from the digitaljournal.com. This is a center in Dallas, Texas. So William Moore, who was actually previously mentioned in one of the articles I was just reading, is the visionary founder of Advanced Skin Fitness, proudly presents the grand opening of advanced you, a premier anti-aging and biohacking center. He is hosting a groundbreaking event, which takes place Thursday, September 21st, 2023, from 4 p.m. to 9 p.m. in the new location in Dallas. Among the free offerings will be a free trial session of the innovative superhuman protocol, a transformative journey that includes PEMF, which is pulsed electromagnetic field therapy, 
EWAT, which is exercise with oxygen demonstrations, and our rejuvenating thermolite bed experience. Complementary ARX fit adaptive res- resistant training workouts and magnetic muscle sculpting treatments will also be offered. There's some prizes and some things you can win, which is really cool. And um, they have relay therapy beds, hyperbaric oxygen chambers, adaptive resistance exercise training, smart graft hair re- restoration, magnet muscle sculpting, which I've actually never heard about. Advance U is poised to revolutionize the way we approach aging and human advancement. And then it kind of goes on to talk about that. This is cool. Again, kind of like the, you know, when I was just briefly talking about the one in, Fair- in the Fairmont. This is awesome. Like I, I love seeing these pop-ups of biohacking centers. And there's a couple of reasons that I like this approach is if you are going to, if you want some of these healing modalities, it's probably cheaper for you to pay a monthly fee than it is for you to buy all of them and have them in your house because you're assuming that you can afford all of them and also you have space for all of them. So it probably just makes sense to sign up for some sort of biohacking center. Maybe you do drop in, maybe you go once a week and you get to use all of this really, really cool tech and you get somebody who's going to help walk you through it and guide you based on your different health goals, whether it's physical, mental, emotional, psychological, psychological, whatever it is. I think this is great. And I think that's why we're seeing these biohacking centers pop up just like the one in Australia, just like the one in the Fairmont, that type of thing. I think something that I would like to see is making sure that it's more accessible for everybody. So having a tiered uh, approach to it, how much you pay, I think is a really good idea because biohacking already has this stigma around it of, hey, this is something for really wealthy people, but that's not necessarily the case. And what if we could bring it to more of the masses, more of the people who can't necessarily afford all of it. So I hope there is like dialogue and narrative around that when these centers are opening, because I think that's important. The other thing that I haven't seen in any of these articles is a nod towards women. Surprise, surprise. (laughs) Out of these, let's see how many. So these articles, there's this one that's opening in Dallas, the one I talked about in Melbourne and the one, the Fairmont Center. Okay. The other two articles were on two men, Tim Gurner and Brian Johnson. Every single article was about men and was quoted by men in this. And there was no nod to women's health whatsoever, which is disappointing. And I didn't cherry pick any of this from the news. I literally took the notifications that I got that like grabbed my eye the most. And it's not like I, you know, just disregarded the ones that talked about women's health. Obviously, I would talk about them if they were there. It would be nice if we could kind of have some treatments and biohacking. It would be nice if we could have some biohacking technology and programs, like specifically for women. And it would also be great to see more women be featured on publications like the Rolling Stone or the Daily Mail talking about biohacking your female health. And when I say female health, that doesn't just mean like your period or fertility, right? Like female health is such a big range. It can mean things like hormone balancing for sure. And issues along with that, like PCOS and endometriosis, it can mean fertility, infertility, birth, postpartum, breastfeeding, of course, But it also means things like menopause and perimenopause and how do women go through that more successfully and have an easier time and what biohacks are best for women premenopausal, postmenopausal, during the menopause year, two years, that that time when your periods are starting to slow down and your hormones are kind of out of whack. It would just be cool to see even just one of these biohacking centers be like, oh, for the women, we have this program and this is what it looks like. So we know that women typically run colder and we have this red light therapy and we have the sauna set to this temperature and we have, we use these essential oils or we use this incense or we, I don't know, whatever it is. What If you have these symptoms and you come in with hot flashes, this is the program we recommend for you for women going through menopause, like whatever it is. It's just like, how do we increase the dialogue of bringing women into the conversation? 
which was lacking in all five of these articles. So all of you do better. (laughs) And let's continue to change that because that's really what I want to see. And I want to see the millionaire bosses out there who are the women who are like, yeah, this is what I'm doing to biohack my health. Come on, let's go. I want to see these articles. So I will definitely talk about them more. And thank you for listening to this podcast episode. It's fun to kind of go through biohacking in the news. If you want this to be a regular segment, let me know. This is actually part of the segment that I do in my newsletter every week. There's always a section that's about latest articles of biohacking in the news. Now I might flush it out and just make this more of a weekly podcast thing. We'll see. If you like it, let me know and stay tuned next week for another episode. Thanks for listening to another episode of Biohacking with Brittany. If you're interested in finding the show notes or the sponsors for this episode, you can do so on my website, which is biohackingbrittany.com. Remember to follow me on Instagram where I'm most active. My handle is at biohackingbrittany. And if you're interested in working together and you want to email me directly, you can do that. My email is info at biohackingbrittany.com. And I look forward to hearing from you and having you tune in next week.